You right guys, it's Game Luke here, and welcome to another Poke Crate unboxing video. Now you may be wondering, why am I wearing a suit while well, I have like my waistcoat like if I go this way? You can see it's right there. Uh, I just came back from a job interview and I feel like it went really, really, really well. Um, so I'm feeling really amped, I'm feeling really confident right now. Uh, and I thought, uh, why not do the Poke Crate video now right after coming back to celebrate uh, the, like, the successful interview I just had. Uh, I haven't been told I'll get the job or not yet. And apparently I'll be let I'll be let know like within a week or something, but um I <laughs> I feel like it went really well. Um I can't really talk about it too much because obviously YouTube and all that sort of stuff. But if I get the job then you'll sure you'll know about it on my Twitter account. So um yeah. Now I have one thing to say real quick. Uh, I got I had a Poke Crate box for October and I recorded one of these videos. However, my audio didn't record and let me just double check right now before this happens again to make sure that my audio is recording, and it is. Okay, we're good. Because last time I went ahead and recorded my mic, and it was, uh, for some reason the mic level was so low, so low that it didn't pick up my voice at all. So, hopefully, you should be able to hear me now. But, um, I got, it was in a purple one. It was in a purple one. Grant would be happy, because it's in a purple one. Obviously, the contents of this box have already been opened, because, uh, like I said, I did the whole Poker Crate opening unboxing, and it was like, the audio didn't record, so I couldn't pack everything back in and then reopen it and be like, Oh, it's this thing that I already knew I had. So I, I, I kind of just skipped that one completely. And then we have this one that came a couple of days ago, which I don't know what's inside. So before we go ahead and open that new one, I'm going to show you what we got in the other one. And obviously I think this was themed on Halloween. Because I got a Gengar. <laughs> I got a nappy. Look at this thing. Look at that cheesy grin. Look at it! <laughs> it's nice and chibi and it's got all these little things on the back and stuff like that. It's really nice. I honestly really like this. It actually has a place. I might have to put a photo on right now, actually. I have a curtain rail that goes across the top of my room. And on the right side, I have a rope and fan. And on the left, there's a Gengar that sits there. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to just pop him. I can reach. Back up there. He's set up there, Gengar. Um, and we also pulled some pretty cool things from this box. We had a pack of... Uh, black and white legendary treasures thing and I got a couple of rare cards which I've, I've discarded the rest of them actually I got this I got this promo Mew card right here let me just give you that nice and reflection off of my window and my, you can see the webcam in the do I have to take that sleeve let me take this out dog all damn slow you if I can actually get my finger in there we go focus there we go we got this really old Mew card, which I remember, I actually remember this from the trading card game on the, um, on the Game Boy. I used to love that game. I actually have that on my 3DS, but let me just get you back in there, Mew. We, we scooped up two cards, right? And I don't know whether they're rare or not, and I need you guys to let me know whether they are rare or not. Because I got this really strange Eevee. And it's got, like, a weird hollow of, like, hearts and stuff like that. With an attack, it's surprising. It's got, like, a star thing on, like... Oopsie. On this bottom, on this bottom left, is that bottom left? On the bottom left, just above my finger, or actually on my finger now. Like there. Like this weird, weird star thing. I don't know what it means. And then we also scooped up, we also scooped up this Genesect. Now this is hollow. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually is, it's, it's actually hollow. Uh, and it's also got the star icon on the bottom right. 110 HP. And I don't know whether these cards are rare or not, so I, they go back in the box. I got the other, other common cards, and I also they, get, they gave me this this sweet, this candy that I thought was American. When I ate it, I spent a clean 30, second, 30 seconds of the video trying to eat it because it was so sour. And it, I just, <laughs> but yeah, here we have the Pokey Grave. But November, I think this is November's one. Also, December right now. Let me get my, where's my, wait, where's my wallet? I need my wallet because it's got like my. Oh, it is over here. Okay. Ah, okay. me. Ah, okay. I'm gonna get my card out. Actually, I should probably use my keys to do this, but I'm gonna use a card anyway because I'm gonna mess this up like that. I'm gonna put my bank card back in my bag. Not my wallet, sorry. Alright, so let's see what we have in this week's Holy Crate. Oh! 
Oh, the first thing that caught my eye was this Pikachu lanyard. Oh, shit, dude. That is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm so tempted to clip this on. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? I am so tempted, right? You have no idea that I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna just walk around with my keys like this. I didn't even give a single flying chicken. This. This is this. I love this. Yo, you guys are Poke Crate. I love you. This is like made of a really weird material as well. It's gonna wind me up because it's like. It twists here for some reason and it's not like. It's gonna wind me up. I need to get my mum to unstitch it and then restitch it. But still, look at it. I love it. It's got Pikachu on it. I love it. That's, that's amazing. Oh no! <laughs> look at this! They're celebrating Aurus. Look at this mug kit. <laughs> so I heard you like me. Oh, that's amazing. This little fin doesn't even stay up on his head properly. It looks like he's a bit of a derp. It actually is meant to be like that. But still, you look like a bit of a, an emo mug kit with your hair like just combed over to one side. Like, well, I'm a fine one to talk, but this is cute af. Made in China. Pokemon Center 2007. This is nice. I like it. I like it. I wish I could like perch him on my shoulder for the rest of the episode. But all right, so we're gonna pop you there. I have no idea where I'm gonna put you. I have no idea. I have an Umbreon over there. I have a Rotom, a Gengar. I love to find spaces, man. I got a Pikachu on my pinball that you can't even see. But still. All right, so let's uh, let's have a look. We have a we have a Makuhita with Fake Out. It's Makit, guys. It's Makit. So we got that. We got the nice and Makuhita right there. Then we've the, uh, we been given a... Oh, oh, look at this! What is this? We have a chest spin on the front, but on the back I see something special. Let's give this a peel open real quick. Or real slow, depending on how fast I want to open this. Alright, cool. So yeah, we have this chest spin right here. What a chest spin. Common chest spin. And let me... Okay, it's not special. Maybe this is a, it's a Japanese card. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice card. That's a nice card, and it's Japanese as well, because it's got because of the, the back to it, which is kind of cool. But still, awesome. We also have this. You can't see what the card is. And we also have Phantom Forces. Now, I really wanted to scoop up one of these, just to open up for, my, <coughs> for myself. I'll get like a bat, a, I don't know, a bunch of them. But before we open that, and we go ham, we're just going to go ahead and open this, because this seems like it's going to be a promo card or something. Alright, oops, not my mic, whoops. Alright, what's in the new gen? I didn't see the card. Oh my lord, this is old. Look at this art. That's old. This is old F. Look at this art. This is nostalgia. It's teaching you how to play the trading card game. But it's like Neo Genesis, which I'm, I swear is like... Baby Pokemon cards. These are special type of baby... This is... Yo, that's crazy. What, what was the card? Uh. I mean, we got Nexus. We got a promo Nexus. No! I don't know where this is from. Is this from the second movie or the first movie? I'm gonna see from the second. Nice and Nexus. Nice and Nexus. Illustration. Ken Sugimori. Alright, cool. So, with that being done, I'm gonna pop you over here. That would be great. And we're gonna go ahead and open up this, uh, these, these, these set of, Oh, I didn't open it properly. Alright, so I can't see. Can't see, can't see, can't see. I open it from the front. I open it from the front. Alright, so we have the, uh, TCG Go. And if you want to claim that, go ahead and do so. And then obviously what we do is we get the first three cards, and then we place them at the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And our first card is Tiano. I don't even know if you can see that. Focus. Don't focus on me. Focus on the card. We got draw three cards. Piano. 
We have Baldur with four... Four heal. Power gem. Enhanced hammer. Scarlet special only attached to one of your opponents. Oh. And we have Helioptile with quick attack. Static shock. And we have Krabby with Vice Grub and Crab Hammer. Look at this thing. And we have a Totodile! Um, and then... And then... We have a, uh, an Amber Mamola. How does that not evolve from Love Disc? I, I, I would never know. Oh, no. 80 damage surf though. Holy crap. Super deep dive. Damn. We have Wisma, Screaming Fit. Let's see that. They both active Pokemon are now confused. All right, all right, Wisma, I see, I see you. We have a a, a hollow Venonet with like the weird leaf animations. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. And our final is oh, we don't have anything too special. Is a he oh a hollow Heliolisk. Heliolisk. That's nice. Parabolic charge and pound. I was waiting for like the the freaking I don't know if you can get even get megas from this, but I was waiting for like the mega Gengar or something. That's nice though, nice and heliolisk. I'm, I'm gonna have to start making a collection, you know, and sh getting like a, a a binder for these. So I I am getting some I'm getting some nice cards, I'm getting some pretty cards. So the decent pulls we got from that with this uh, this hollow venonet and this uh, hollow heliolisk. Oh, it's actually uh, the venonet's a reverse hollow. Sorry. That probably makes more sense to you uh, trading card guys, but honestly, I don't know Jack Poodie Poo uh, about these Pokemon cards, so yeah, there's that, so that was our November Poke Crate. If you have enjoyed this uh, this unboxing, then please do go ahead and leave a rate in the comments to support the channel and the series, uh, and I will try not to screw up a Poke Crate opening again with my audio being all, side, all kinds of screwed up, but like I said, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a rate in the comment, and we will see you guys next month for... Our next book crate opening. <laughs> See you guys then.